Hey y'all, this is Anoki back with another video from the book club series. And today I want to focus on the how to wrap book. Um, I was actually teased by um, co-workers at the time about reading this book because they felt that I was already a good rapper so like why are you reading a book on how to rap and just why are you reading a book on how to rap in general like that's crazy they thought that was a crazy idea but i think that um it's important to hone in on your craft and really want to master it and i i feel like at that time i was starting to get complacent i was starting to sound the same so i'm just like okay uh, i was very curious i saw it on um Amazon I was looking for it really and I bought it so it's basically a compilation of some of the top hip-hop artists in the world like talking about um, their process of writing and um, just hip-hop in general they talk they break down rhyme schemes they talk about multi-syllable rhymes I had never heard that term before I read this book and I had been doing it, yes, but I hadn't been conscious of what I was doing. So then I could say, you know what, I would like to have this connect to this and that connect to that and like really break it down in my brain so it's more of a science and an art. When I feel a certain way, I can make the rhythm do this, like instead of just doing skits and scats and stuff like that, which I do. Um, and that helps me get the feel but being more technical and really saying okay i want to have a multi-syllable rhyme right here i want to have a a a b a rhyme scheme so i can create tension in in my uh in this part of the verse or you know just really breaking down and, and mastering songwriting not just uh being another rapper not just rapping what i feel and uh, on that time i think that that's there's a time and a place for that but if you want to be a professional in any craft it's smart to really know what you're doing so then you can articulate what you're doing to the next person or even to yourself like i feel like that's a, a, a further part of mastery and i kind of want to go more into some parts of the the book it talks about different types of rapping like there i didn't think about like i was one of those people that was very judgmental um as a hip-hop artist like i very much come from the 90s and um i grew up listening to lauren hill and common was my one of my favorite rappers of all time and like the idea of consciousness and being very educational in your raps and i felt like that mindset was kind of uh putting me in, in a box because i would feel bad for um rapping in a different way like maybe i'm in a really good mood and i want to talk about going out and that mindset kept me from expressing that part of myself and it talks about that there's different purposes for different things and there's nothing wrong with using um being a certain rapper or speaking about certain things based on how you feel or the purpose of this like sometimes the purpose is not to show off your lyrical skills like your lyrical acrobats every song doesn't call for that but some songs do um some songs call for you to be a storyteller um some songs call for you to help people continue to bounce and continue to dance so you trying to get all deep and philosophical on a dance song doesn't make sense because that's not what it's for but even if you did want to get deep and philosophical how can you do that but still keep the bounce going and not distract people from the purpose of this song like you can have consciousness on a song that like and even the idea of consciousness everybody is conscious it just depends on what they're conscious of some people are more conscious of drugs alcohol women sex you know nice cars clothes that's what they're conscious of that's what they want to speak into existence that's what they want and some people are more conscious of politics they're conscious of the woes of the world i was one of those people that was just like, oh my gosh life is horrible look what this person's doing look at what that politician is doing and and that was my mindset and i was miserable because that's all i was conscious of so i think it's important to have a balance and to really think about like 
what are you putting into your craft and what are you writing about? How are you writing about it? And this is something that helped, you know, me figure out how can I um, craft my message in a way that um, is delivered the way I want to be delivered and where I have more power over what I'm writing because I know I have more tools and this is just I feel like it's a toolbox it's a toolkit and um for rapping and I think that's what education should be it's like mental tools it's not so much okay I'm gonna teach you how to do something that you don't know how to do it's more of giving you tools to be able to do what you know how to do better you know what I mean and it's no different than like you want to build a house but you don't have a hammer or you don't know how to use a hammer or you all you have is a hammer when you could be using an electric hammer or something like that one of the ones that just do 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 you just press a button and do, 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 do. it just makes your life easier get better tools and i'm i'm just all about it in educating yourself so that's you know some of the stuff that i got from this book which is huge and it's it's pretty awesome so i, I really highly recommend it it even talks about different ways of you know writing your your um song some people write in their head as far as um r and b I write in my head just because um or I write with recording like I'll record my melodies and I'll be skitting and scatter or whatever like humming things or you know like if I hear a beat that that may that's always the first thing that comes when I'm singing. And even when I'm rapping, I, you know, it's that, the feeling, catching the feeling, recording that feeling, and then starting to add words. And that's really good for me to do when I'm singing. But when I'm rapping, I'm a writer when it comes to rapping. I like to write it down and or type it and um, really um, make it a piece of art. Like, it's really like architecture editing it, like, mm, maybe I should put this line last or, you know, very, very um, meticulous and well thought out. And some people do the freestyle or the recording in the booth when it comes to rapping. Some people like that process for when they rap. I like that process for when I sing. So it's just knowing that you don't have to do anything a certain way you can combine things sometimes sometimes you can go in there with half of a rap written and then freestyle the rest or just hum and you know until words come and just having the freedom to be able to do that so i just that's a big thing that i got from uh reading this book and there's a lot more so you should just get the book and read it you know what i'm saying and get your own experience but educate stay educated stay up and that's what i got from how to rap i'll see y'all later like subscribe comment and you know you know peace